I mean, that's three days work. They're just basically getting the reindeer, the sleigh, the present stuff displaying and a basic flick mechanic in there. Today we've set them uh, a pitch which is supposed to be representative of the kind of pitch we would get within um, a, a proper game development company. So we've given them a rough scope of the game, outlined what our needs are for the product and what they need to deliver in the, the time span. And then we've tasked them with coming up with a schedule and figuring out how they're actually going to deliver that in the, the time frame they have. What I would like to see is a almost like a design document with brief descriptions of how all the mechanics work and I'm going to aim to give it a sign off on Friday to say yeah that's good, go with that. Getting into the industry is an incredibly difficult experience and any benefit that students can get is really beneficial. So having previous work on their CV is just a fantastic way of getting foot in the door really. If you can put everything into a priority order, the reason for this is that if you need to drop anything, stuff off the bottom of the list goes first. I'd like to see chimneys on there. Definitely Santa's sleigh and being able to flick presents out from it. And definitely some collision and just a, a basic score. And if somebody is struggling, you can say, well, actually, I think I've got some time. I'll take one of these tasks off you. Just generating some assets at the moment. Basically, the brief is that Santa is late and he's got to deliver his presents on time. And you have to drop them down the chimneys as you fly over. We've divided it up, so I've got people and Santa and presents and bits, and then Dave's got all the building, and it's just very much a, um, a case of we put a lot of work if we want to make more than one level, so we need to be well ahead. Right, so we will do... Uh, SE particle pointer particle with linear velocity, angular velocity. I'm responsible for creating a particle system which we'll be using for weather effects, uh, snow drifting down the screen, that kind of thing, and also for to represent the actual presence that uh, Santa's going to be trying to throw down the chimneys. Do I create a particle which I manipulate while it's in the, the, the Prezi queue and then pass it on to the physics, or...? I've been tasked with um, creating Santa and his sleigh, creating presents, putting them into a queue which is then passed on to the physics engine. The missiles are going to be launched with a gesture system, that is the swipe dynamic and the, the swipe will determine the angle that the presence launched out of. My task is to produce the target system, the queuing and move them across the screen. So how far away do you think, what, what elements do we have left to prove the core mechanic? We have slots in the code here uh, on the rooftop, three slots on each rooftop okay. for attaching chimneys or other objects. What we're trying to get working at the moment is laying the tiles, which is the house composition object, the house included, laying uh, those on the view controller layer. Cool. Yeah. Initially it felt like it was perhaps a little bit behind where it should be. But I think with um, some of the stuff you said, it sounds like it's actually on track. They've taken it very seriously, they've taken it very much to heart. They want this code to be the best that it can and probably have focused more on iterating their own personal code as opposed to focusing on delivery. So their focus has been quality over timely delivery, which again is a key dilemma within the business. I came to Gamer Camp because I have been trying to get into the games industry for a while now. And I've worked on a number of small demos, but I didn't have any complete games as such to show off. So whilst I could demonstrate certain programming styles and game techniques. I didn't have a, a full app that I could uh, use in my portfolio. It's been invaluable really getting proper professional input. You see a different perspective of things because you see it through their professional eyes and by doing that you can understand more of the, the science behind the game creation process. A very, very positive experience, very positive learning experience and it's a great way to start your journey on getting into the games industry. A lot of the jobs out there ask for experience and the thing is how do you get that first off? and this is that bridge. Games industry is definitely where I want to be and if the working environment is like the working environment they've simulated here, I'll be happy. Hit it. That's right.